Hi there, my name is Peter Vox and I am the director and principal teacher of Vox Singing Academy, which was established in 1993 right here in beautiful Melbourne, Australia. If we could help you or someone that you know with their singing, we'd be absolutely honoured. We have numerous studios here in Melbourne. Also, we give online singing lessons worldwide seven days a week. We have both male and female teachers. If face-to-face -face lessons aren't your thing, check out the ultimate online singing course, all in the links below. If you like this channel, give it a like, thumbs up, click subscribe. If you have a question, put it in the comments below. If you think I've missed something, put it in the comments below. If not, just come in and say hello. Um, get the community going. If you like this channel, give it a like, thumbs up, click like and subscribe. We have lots of other great content on this channel here as well too. Today, I am going to give you the six basic things every singer should know. Every basic singer should know, okay? Let's get stuck straight into it. Number one is pitch. You've got to know pitch. You've got to listen to yourself when you're singing, and you've got to hear if you are on or if you're off the notes when you're singing. That's the number one cardinal rule to do with singing. I've gone straight into it. I haven't held back. This is the number one point that you should know when you're singing. Now, a good way to improve this skill is to sing along with your favorite artist. So use them as a soundboard. So sing along with them. Try to hit their exact notes in the same pitch and then Go with an instrumental or a karaoke and record yourself and critique yourself and see what you're sounding like. You've got to be in pitch. You've got to be in key. You've got to be hitting the right notes all the time. If you need help with this, let us know. That's what we're here for. We're the experts. We can help you out. And pitch is the number one cardinal rule that we try to work through with all of our students to make sure that they're hitting the right notes. So we really pride ourselves that all of our students are hitting the right notes all the time, particularly our professional singers that are signed to record contracts and are out there performing all the time. Number one point. Number two, you've got to know your voice and its capabilities, okay? So number one, what is your voice? If you're a male, are you a low voice, a bass, a middle voice, baritone, or a tenor, a higher voice? Or a female, are you uh, a contralto, the lowest voice, an alto, a middle range voice, or a soprano, the higher voice? If you don't know what you are, you need to find out what you are. Again, you can find out from a singing teacher. You can work out the notes, what you think that you can hit, and you can try to work it out from there. Or you might feel that you sing someone, for instance, you're a female, you might be able to, oh, look, I sing Amy Winehouse really well, or I sing Adele really well, or I sing Beyonce really well. Again, we've gone from a low singer, a middle singer, to a high singer, and then that could maybe give you uh, some answers to what, your range is best suited to, lower singers, middle singers, or higher singers. So that is very important, finding out what your voice can do, because you don't want to be going doing a song that's too high or too low for you, where you're going to sound silly, strained, and you're not going to sound the best. You want to be singing in your sweet spot, where your voice sounds the best. That's where you're going to want to be doing a majority of your singing, okay? So you need to know your voice, you need to know its capabilities, what it can do. Now, if you're just a new singer, uh, and you're new to singing, and you know Beyonce or, or Mariah Carey are doing some big R&B trills, yeah, and you don't know how to do them, again, get upskilled, jump onto YouTube, uh, hit us up for some singing lessons. So again, know what you can do and know what you can't do. If there's a big trill in a song, a run like that, and you can't do it, pick an easier song. If there's uh, maybe a, a really high note in a song and you can't get it, maybe pick a lower song or get some training to expand your high range. If there's some coarser things, say your prayers, the two one, and you don't know how to do that, sing it clean instead. Say your prayers, the two one, okay, until you learn that technique or can, can develop it. That's number two. Let's get into number three breathing. Very, very important. Yes, it's number three because it is your engine. You've got to know to, how to breathe through your diaphragm, which is this area here. You can see my diaphragm is sticking out. 
My chest isn't raising. I'm not doing that. So it's called a proper diaphragmatic breath. This is your engine. It's very important to, that you should know as a singer when to breathe, but also particularly when to take a full diaphragmatic breath so that you always have the right amount of air support and breath pressure underneath your vocal cords at all times. Breathing is super important. Number four, mouth placements, or what I call vowels. Vowels are most important, A-E-I-O-U. That's all your mouth can do when we're singing. So when you're singing, you've got to know what mouth placements to go to, and your mouth needs to work. It's no good singing like this. You're not going to sound any good. When I find myself in times of trouble, my mouth's not working. doesn't sound good. You've got to use your mouth. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. You can see my mouth is working to different vowel mouth shapes. I'm going to quickly go over them with you. Let me put my keyboard. I wasn't planning to play my keyboard. <clears throat> Five. A, one, C, round, heart, smile, oval, soul, U, U, they're your main mouth placements that, and all we do when we sing, we go from one mouth placement to the next. At Vox Singing Academy, we teach all of our students the five most important vowel shapes and mouth placements, and then we incorporate that into songs. Number five, let's go to number five, volume variances in songs. Every single song that has ever been written and sung has got different volume variances. You as a singer need to know when you need to go louder and quieter so that you can incorporate light and shade into the song and make it uh, emotive, make it emotional. Again, I'll go over Let It Be so you can hear my volume is gonna start a little bit lower. <clears throat> When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be, oh, let it be, whisper words of wisdom, let it be. So you can see my higher notes, I was going a little bit louder on, okay? So you need that light and shade. So I started off at, when I find my, quietly, I wasn't going, when I find myself, okay? So it wasn't loud. When I find myself in times of trouble, my trouble's louder and I go louder again. Mother Mary comes to me. So I was going louder on that top note again there. So you can see the volume variances really important. If I didn't do it, it wouldn't sound any good. It'd sound like crap. It'd sound like this. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. It doesn't sound crap. It just doesn't sound emotive. There's, there's no emotion. There's no feel behind it. <laughs> so light and shade's very, very important. Number six, last one. Rehearse and learn the lyrics and the song or your whole set or performance, whatever it might be. It could be a musical performance. Learn it 110%. 100% is not good enough. We've got a saying at Vox Singing Academy, learning a song 100% is not good enough at Vox. You've got to know it 110%. If you know something 110%, you'll be able to present it a lot better. Sing it with emotion. Sing it with feel. And you won't have to think about the lyrics, so you'll be on autopilot, just enjoying your singing. And that's what singing is about, is to enjoy it. So learning it inside out, back to front, and then rehearsing the song or the set or the performance that you're going to be doing. So rehearsing it at home. It's also great to try to rehearse in the actual environment that you're going to be performing in. So if you're in a... That's what rehearsal studios are about for bands. If you're going to be playing a small club, you want to go into a small rehearsal. If you're going to be singing outside at the start, uh, singing the, the Australian National Anthem at the races, I've got a student singing it at the races. She's going to be on the grass. Practice it outside so you get used to hearing yourself like that. That pretty much wraps it up. I'm just going to reiterate those six points again. Number one, cardinal rule. 
Number one that everything, every singer needs to know about and be self-aware about is pitch, okay? Number two, know your abilities and vocal capabilities, okay? Number three, breathing. Number four, mouth placements. Number five, volume variances in songs. And number six, rehearse and learn your songs inside out, back to front so you can present them to the best of your ability and have fun and not worry about forgetting lyrics and everything else that you gotta um, think about and do when you're singing. Follow these points. You're gonna improve your singing if you put these into place, even if you've had no singing lessons. If you have any questions, put them in the comments section below. If it's a good question, I will answer it. If you think I've missed something, put it in there or just drop by and say hello. Um, building up a great community worldwide here. Um, if you like this channel, give it a like, thumbs up, click like and subscribe. We have lots of other great content here as well too. Um, if we could help you or someone that you know with their singing, we'd be absolutely honored. Check out the links below for more info. Singing lessons worldwide, seven days a week, offered by male and female teachers. Also, we've got numerous studios here in Melbourne, Australia, and we have the ultimate online singing course if you don't want to take face-to-face -face singing lessons with us. Thank you so much, everyone that has watched this. Um, most importantly, enjoy your singing, live with passion, and until the next video, be good to each other. Peace and much, much love. Bye-bye.